you must learn to dominate. You cannot compete. I don't want you just to compete, because competing is dangerous. Because when you compete, you got to go all the way to the fourth quarter to make that thing happen. But when you dominate, you take your opponent out the game. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is The Wolf over here at The Wolf Den. We're going to go ahead and do trader takeaway number two, second one. Uh, we're excited to do this. Thanks for having you guys with us today. Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, so today we had two trades. We took a shot at uh, LJPC and also PRVB, uh, the main runner of today. Um, let's just go ahead and look at PRVB. Uh, actually, let's do LJPC first. Make this a little bit bigger. And then, you know what? Let's go ahead and uh, jump over to the big screen on this. So looking at this, this is a day three right here. Um, small gap down off of yesterday. Um, this trend line break right here is what interests me. So when I was looking at it pre-market, I was trying to decide an area where we had enough technical resistance to try to go ahead and... Um, and get in on it and put a little pressure on it. I leaned into this one just a little bit. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at executions. So you can see from pre-market, I was looking, I was looking actually right here at this uh, 1225 area. This is really what interests me. Um, I had these marks, these levels marked from the front side volume profile and also from the high time frame, three year volume profile. So when we came back up to 1225, I had enough confidence to go ahead and get an entry on it right here. And then I watched the order flow a little bit. I was in another trade, but watching the order flow, uh, I decided not to TP down here and I went ahead and raised my average and then set the targets. As you can see, I had... Uh, 1134 and a 1077 target almost near miss right here but I didn't touch the target um, I did not want to touch the target these these targets are based off of these volume profile lines right here right here 1131 and 1072 so i gave a little bit of latitude on that uh just above it setting targets like i said i just had a near miss right here but uh overall it was a pretty good trade i would have taken this trade again and i was happy with the risk second trade of the day was a bigger trade we're looking at prvp let's go ahead and pull this one up on the big screen as well Okay, so we had an after hours push yesterday. Um, came up, came back down. The major consolidation that I had off of the the high time frame on this was a 450, was a 378 to 450 consolidation. So we broke out from that, which is abnormal because this thing doesn't normally break out. So I believe it had some agenda volume yesterday. We're coming up here. We get a failure down in pre-market. Let me go ahead and just pull up executions. So I took a couple stabs at it in pre-market. I really wanted to get in here uh, risking against this $13 top, $12.80, $13 top. I just couldn't get in. I didn't want to chase it. Um, again, I missed on this $12 lower high. I was watching the order flow at this point, and I was just a little bit slower than the curve. People were getting in. And then we got under view up, came back up, and I wanted to give it a shot. So uh, I chased it. I felt a little bit chasey, but I did jump in here. I decided not to TP here, just watching the order flow. And uh, I slowly raised my average. Uh, top ticked it before the flush, took a little bit of profit. And then didn't want to jump in again, wanted to wait and see what this thing was going to do at the bell. And then that's when I got into some serious trouble here. So I wanted to share this with you guys because the majority of trader takeaways that I see online are systematic consistent by professional traders and they're just running their game running their systems which is fantastic i'm just not there yet 
Um, if you guys are, congratulations. Uh, I can't wait to be there with you. But I wanted to share this frontside push right here with you guys and let you know what was going on through my head. So I'm trying to average in. Um, I'm in the green at this point. I'm taking profit at 950. I'm take I'm adding back in recycling shares. I'm taking profit again right here at 1030. I'm doing well, and then we get some some new players in. I, I notice some some strength on the tape is basically what it is. And this right here, I don't. This is embarrassing. It really is. But you know, I need to either try to attack this here at 12 at 1210 and cut early. Or attack it again high a day with a super tight stop, knowing that if this breaks pre-market highs, we're going to squeeze. All the stops are going to be there from the shorts. Um, and this is just what happened to me. I didn't cut. This is a cut right here. This is way too many ads. Failure to cut. And then we come up again. We start to stall out just a little bit. I hit it again. This time I did decide to cut. Finally, now my emotions are starting to come back in and I'm starting to register as a trader again. Um, the next pop, I wait for a little bit of failure. I enter again, small size. After the cut, you think I would just sit back and wait and wait for some lower highs and wait for something to risk off of. But being out of the trade, my emotions want me to come back into the trade. So I don't wait. I wait three minutes and I'm back in again right before the squeeze. Small size here uh, relative to my average, my front side average. But I should have cut again. I have something to risk off of right here. This candle being 1569, that should be a 1573, 1576 cut, no cut. So these are things that I'm working on. I need to have proper risk management if I'm ever going to have a scalable system. So again, we come up here. Now, this time I, I let the exhaustion take place. Uh, so at least now I have a potential lower high being worked. I, I scale in rather fast and we pop again. I top tick the ad. I feel like I'm in good shape right here and I continue to add. My size here is medium, but I'm adding and adding. And then again, right here under 20, just with $20 being a whole rounded number, I feel confident in that number, but really there's no, there's no, there's no technical resistance. There's nothing to go off of the, the daily chart on thinkorswim and DAS. There's nothing there. I don't know if this is a newer IPO. I didn't do too much research on it. Uh, we did some fundamental analysis on it, some basic stuff, but I was playing other things like you saw, and this thing was just kind of running on me. And right here between $20 and $23 was the biggest mistake of the day. So I'm at the mercy of the market right here. This is terrible. This needs to be fixed. So basically tonight I'm going to be examining this chart and I'm going to be working on hot. I'm going to be working on um, stop scripts. That's what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to be able to get in and out faster. I'm just starting to understand how to, um, to get, to work a channel at least we'll, we'll give myself at least that much of uh of how to work the order flow just starting to as you can see mid-morning uh right here i'm starting to work the channel work the order flow just basically shorting into pops and covering into resistance even here i'm a little bit scared you can see i'm not properly waiting for for strength to show up uh this is not the best trading, but my entries are by far better on the backside than my covers. So that's another men mental note that I'm going to make. Also, too, on this trade, uh, my passive liquidity was 78%. So that's that's improved from, I think, the first time I tracked it was 40%. So I'm trying to use all limit orders. I'm trying to work on my system. And uh, I feel like I have enough skill to get in and get out with the order flow if i can protect myself i need to practice proper risk management so here we go like i said just a little bit of channel trading uh, my average at this point from right here from this 18 dollars ad which is my last uh above vwap entry i think it was my last entry of the day actually i had a two o'clock appointment but i'm working an 1805 average which was uh decent it could have been a lot better but once we cracked $17 right here, we had this uh, 
you know, panic selling. All the longs are trapped right here. So stops are being triggered. Possibly that the manipulators are also hitting the bid and really just not giving the longs an opportunity to get out who didn't have their stop set. Possibility, I'm not sure. So here we go. I'm just taking profit along the way. Uh, I, I had some ads after I bottom tick this right here. Uh, I had some ads out right around 1640 up until 16, 1660. Just trying to get in under this technical uh, resistance right here. Um, it did end up popping up right before market closed, but at this point I was just done. I had a little bit of shares left. My ultimate target on this was down here around $10 somewhere. Um, and I even gave it a chance to fade during after hours, but I took my last cover at 1380. And that's basically my trade. There's a lot to learn from this chart. Uh, hopefully this trader takeaway didn't go too long, but I did end up putting this into the runner's room. Let me just go ahead and show you guys the runners from today. So today's runner, we have workhorse WKHS. A couple guys in the room played it. Very nice. We also have VUZI. Have going to do some fundamental uh, research on this one tonight. But this was a potential runner. And then PRVB, which we just played. All right, guys, that's it for trader takeaways. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep continuing to do these. I'm gonna hold myself accountable. Hopefully, I'm teaching a little bit. Uh, you know, learn from my mistakes. Just try to get better. Keep getting better. One percent better every day, right? Compounding uh, interest on our self investment, basically. All right, guys, thanks for joining us, and have a great day.